Hi all, welcome to the channel and thank you for tuning in. My name is Shane and in this video slash tutorial I'll be showing you how I created this light ray using Photoshop in my images. Now I recently uploaded this image to my social media and was quickly inundated with questions and messages asking how I created this ray of light. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'll hide this current layer and open a new layer. So in this video, we'll be using layer four. So the first thing I do is select my poly lasso tool and you need to outline where the source of light is. And in this image, it is in the top right hand corner through a skylight opening in the underground car park. So once I have selected my ray of light, where the light source is coming from, I then right click and select fill. I want a white one as it is a black and white image. You can use other colors here and I want it at 100%. Click OK. That will do something like this. The next step is to right click and select free transformation. And again, right click and select distort. And now I like to distort my rays of light from the furthest point in the images. Um, every image is going to be different at this point, unfortunately, but you get the rough idea. And what you need to be doing is dragging this box or your selection into how the light would fall in your image. Now I've got a perfectly good reference point here in this pillar on this image with a nice strong shadow showing me almost a ray of light. So once I have lined this up and I'm happy, let's just make it a little bit wider at the bottom. So perspectives as the ray of light falls and just a little rotation and that looks pretty good I'm pretty happy with that so I select OK so now once that is done the next step is to select your graduation tool which is this one make sure you are on black to white as a linear graduation at 100% capacity and select your graduation now what you'll be looking for here is what at the ray of light, so the source of light at the top end you would be brighter and then as it comes in down into the image it gets darker how the light falls off. So that looks pretty good to me. The next step is to go into filters and go into blur. Now a lot of people use Gaussian blur, you can use Gaussian blur but I prefer to use box blur. This gives you a soft blur on the box on the edges like a box and keeps the middle quite intense like you would see a ray of light now just adjust adjust this bar to what you're happy with i think around about the 300 mark is usually pretty good for me in this case yep i'm happy with that now we are at this stage and it is starting to take shape our ray of light the next step is to select a new layer mask down here in the right hand corner. So we've selected a new layer mask and then we need to go to filters and render. Select clouds and that is looking pretty good already in this image. But we have it overlapping our car and we don't want that uh, or your subject, you don't want it overlapping subject as you can see it's starting to take away the detail in the subject so the easiest thing to do is select our brush tool make sure we are on black and make sure we are still on our layer mask down here make sure we are on 100% opacity and start rubbing away where we don't want the ray of light so i.e. in this case on our car on our subject we do not want any of this on our subject something like this this is just a quick outline on this video or tutorial. You can use the pen tool to create a better line so you do not go over like I have here. Um, but for this tutorial, it will be absolutely fine. So what I've done there is just unclick the, unclick the layer so you can see if you have gone over anywhere or need to go back over it like so. So now that is looking pretty good already, but we have this sharp ray of light here that clearly you can see has been added into the image. So what I do here is go back to the opacity 
and I select around about 25%. And some people brush out like this, but I prefer to dab. If I just dab along this ray of light, as you can see, it starts to blend into the image. Um, this is all starting to look pretty good. Something like that, and then around the bottom, do the same on the bottom. As you can see, the ray of light here. Add my shadow, so here I will brush in as this is a shadow. Something like that. And that's it guys, that is your ray of light. Now this works on all sorts of images. I've used this on wedding photography, car photography, old buildings where you want a ray of light coming through. This is how I do it, I'm no professional. This is how I do it and it's very easy to do. Um, you can also adjust the, the amount of fill like so here, um, or the opacity of the actual layer like so, creating quite a nice realistic ray of light i hope that helps like and comment and share and subscribe for more of these type of videos mostly based on photography my channel is brand new so the subscribers and likes are more than welcome thank you